Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, on behalf of the uh, McAllen Police Department, City of McAllen, we appreciate all of you being here. Uh, sometimes when we have a, a, a piece of information that, that probably will be um, uh, too extensive to cover in a, in a, in a, in a, a written advisory, we will do this. Uh, or when we think it's significant enough for you guys, uh, that you guys might, may spend some time out here, we, uh, we do this. And today, we think it's this, that's one of those cases. Um, let me begin. Uh, with this, uh, again, thank you for being here. Last week, we began to see um, some credit card, that is some fraudulent credit card activity um, reported to us. Um, and the, the losses in, in the transactions we were looking at were in the, in the tens of thousands of dollars. Um, the activity began to all happen at or around Sunday, uh, the 12th of, uh, of January. So uh, we naturally, we began uh, uh, an inquiry, an investigation into, into what was being reported to us. We, um, we teamed up with uh, the U.S. Secret Service to try to, uh, to try to identify the information that we were receiving and see where, uh, what information that was. And uh, it quickly became uh, obvious to us that the information about the fraudulent activity, that is the accounts that were being used, uh, beginning on 1-12 of, of 2014 here in McAllen, was part of a, a data set that was involved in the, um, in the, what we call now the target data breach uh, back in December, or late last year. Um, once we, once we confirmed that information, then obviously we set about to try to identify the, the persons that were involved in, in the particular um, set of offenses. We, we developed enough information locally from the establishments that were, um, and, and by the way, the establishments where these tens of thousands of uh, transactions occurred uh, include uh, Best Buy, um, Walmart, HEBs, um, Toys R Us was big, uh, Kmart, et cetera. So those are the kinds of businesses that were, that saw a whole bunch of activity on a given day, and a lot of it on a repetitive basis. So we began to develop the uh, information last week, and we worked it all of last week. Uh, our personnel, all standing over here, have dedicated all of last week to, um, to identify the persons that were in these businesses transacting uh, these fraudulent cards. As a result of that, we identified a, a, a suspect vehicle, and then we, uh, we brought in the assistance of uh, Department of Homeland Security, ICE, um, and with them we were able to narrow down a particular vehicle that we were looking for at a point in time that it crossed into the United States uh, and other times, and therefore, by virtue of that, identified the persons that were coming and going in that particular vehicle. So now we had uh, a vehicle, now we had persons. We now could see the persons in the vehicle. We could see them in the stores now. We knew who they were. And the result of that was that warrants were issued for the two persons you have up here uh, photographed. Um, Daniel Guardiola Dominguez and Mary Carmen Garcia Baquera. We issued warrants. That the, the city of McAllen was able to get warrants for uh, these two uh, individuals uh, last week. Uh, we worked with local businesses to try to um, uh, basically set us up for another hit during the weekend. Uh, and hopefully, uh, fortunately enough, we were able to intercept them with ISIS help at the um, Asaldúas Bridge yesterday morning. They were returning at 7 o'clock yesterday morning. They were returning back here again to do uh, another load, run another, run another load of uh, cards at us. So uh, we were able to... Uh, flagged their vehicle, flagged their names, and when they came across, they were arrested uh, by our agents and ICE uh, at the bridge, and since that time, they've been in our custody. We found on them another stack of cards. The cards look like they do, uh, but uh, the accounts are, the, uh, I mean, you know, the accounts are what matter. On all the accounts that we were looking at, um, in the first set of, uh, uh, the first set of uh, transactions, were all uh, data that was uh, in our um, been reported to us was part of the data breach uh, that Target suffered late last year. 
uh, since their arrest yesterday, uh, they have given uh, uh, some statements of complicity. Uh, these individuals have indicated to us that they have uh, been, um, basically they agreed to what they were doing, they've given us those statements. We're still working to develop that further. Uh, and today we take the opportunity to, uh, to thank our partners at Secret Service, our partners at ICE, and certainly our personnel. We, we extend to them our, our thanks for their hard work over the weekend and last week. But we want to uh, take the opportunity to let our locals know that, um, you know, as far away as tar target corporate may sound, uh, you know, the accounts that we were dealing with last week, all were local, all local accounts. Um, local, I mean, South Texas, that's what I mean, not McAllen proper, but uh, South Texas, they were um, South Texas accounts. Um, so we, we, let, we want to take this opportunity to let them know that, um, you know, to be on their toes, to, to obviously always inspect their accounts and their account standing. Um, and we also want to take the opportunity to, um, to ask our merchants to work with us. You know, when someone sits uh, at, at a register and has a stack of cards his way and says, try this one, and that one fails, and they say, well, try this one, and that one fails, and after going over 10 or 12 of them, he says, well, let me go to the car and get another 10 or 12, and those fail, I mean, uh, it's time to call somebody. Uh, and we had some of that happen in, in the circumstances we were talking about last week. So uh, we're taking the opportunity to uh, hopefully, uh, through this process, let people know that uh, we're not that far removed from, let's say, um, uh, target corporate. I mean, we uh, here we are. And generally, just to kind of explain how this works, gentlemen and ladies, um, when someone when there's a breach like that, I mean, somebody somebody's got a pool of data. Um, uh, someone in Mexico is obviously buying that data and producing the cards, and uh, and then trying to make the runs into uh, in, into uh, the area to uh, to uh, capitalize on. Uh, we think that as time goes, this becomes more urgent because um, every day that goes by, every piece of attention that's focused on the target breach um, uh, is devaluing because people are correct, taking corrective steps to, uh, to um, uh, post the breach. They're taking the corrective steps to uh, get their accounts in good standing, uh, get new cards issued, get new PIN numbers issued, and all those things. So every day that goes by, uh, we think that the, uh, the target data may be devaluating, so there, there'll, there'll be more pressure to capitalize on them uh, sooner rather than later.